This is a Sandy Boy Productions podcast. Welcome to the Urban Pharmacy Podcast, where we help women remove the overwhelm of living their most holistic life. This is the place to find evidence-based nutrition tactics, healthy lifestyle and wellness tips, abundance mindset, and easily implementable low-tox living strategies so you can rise up to your full potential and protect your family's health. I'm your host, Stacey Heine, certified holistic nutritionist and better living advocate. Now, let's get empowered with some simple swaps that make a big impact for optimal wellness. love a good acronym, don't you? Today in episode nine of the Urban Pharmacy Podcast, I'm going to be dropping a holistic hack for you in terms of food. And this is what we're going to talk about. F goals. F goals come from my friend, Will Bolsowitz, who is a gastroenterologist and New York Times bestseller of the book called Fiber Fueled. And if you have not received this book as a gift, purchased it or bought it on Audible, it's time to do so, so that you can optimize your gut and have a really super healthful gut microbiome. So here's the thing. I teach all of the participants that come through my food for life classes with the physicians committee about the power plate. The power plate encompasses four food groups, whole grains, beans, and legumes, fruits, and veggies. But We can take that and make it even better. And the way we can make that even better is through F goals. And this is, again, an acronym that Will Wolsowitz has created so that we can move our lives forward with food and diversity of plants for our gut microbiome. All right. So let's go over the F goals on this Friday. F is fruit and fermented. So we are talking whole fruit, not fruit juices, fruit that has the fiber intact. So whole plant fruit. Okay. And then fermented foods talking about sauerkraut, kombucha, um, anything else that you can think of that's naturally fermented, you know, fermentation is super fun. So if you've never made your own sauerkraut, it is incredibly easy. All you have to do is take a salt and cabbage, honestly, and it will create a sauerkraut for you. Um, but honestly I have created and mastered a salt free version of sauerkraut, which I will be sharing the recipe for sometime soon on my blog, but it just requires a lot of spices and a lot of time, but fermented foods are so beneficial for our gut. And I'm not talking about the fake fermentation foods that are forced and, uh, sitting on the shelves, right? I'm talking about the fermented foods that you can buy from the grocery store that have naturally living bacteria all over the food, which is incredible for our gut microbiome. And they're again in the refrigerated section because they don't have any preservatives added to them. All right, let's move on. That was F. Now G is greens and grains. So whole leafy greens and whole grains. Super amazing for your gut. We need them for so many reasons, so many minerals and so many vitamins. And honestly, people that eat lots of greens have a really great chance of not getting cardiovascular disease. People who are eating lots of greens decrease their risk for getting diabetes and cancer and infectious diseases and really have boosted immune systems. So I really highly suggest that you're eating lots and lots of greens plus whole grains. Whole grains are so amazing for your gut. They add, you know, they make you satiated. They make you feel full. They add bulk to your tummy. And, um, there are so many different kinds, uh, farro, spelt, millet, buckwheat, bulgur, quinoa, couscous. There's endless possibilities of grains. And I highly suggest that you seek out lots of different ones to make it fun to eat all of them. All right. The next one in the F goal acronym is O and that stands for 
omega threes. These can come in at many plant forms, but mainly we're talking the super seeds here, the hemp, the chia, the flax. I want to give you a little tip when you're eating flax, make sure that the flax is ground so that it is more bioavailable and you can um, absorb it better. But all three of them are super great for getting your omega threes in. If you are not getting omega threes in your diet via seed, these super seeds, then I highly suggest that you're taking a pollutant free supplement and that you are getting that in because it's very important for your cognition and a lot of other bodily functions that you don't want to be missing out on. So omega threes are super important. Okay. Next up is aromatics. We're talking things that make your food taste yum. So garlic and onions and think scallions and leeks, aromatics, they are high in a phytochemical called Allison. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to talk here about sprouts in just a second, but if you have never had onion sprouts, I can't even imagine the content of Allison in those. And, um, the flavor is epically unreal. So you need to try them. All right. Next up in the F goals acronym is legumes. So, okay. Just like grains, we've got a ridiculous um, variety that we can eat of legumes, you guys, beans and legumes. So These are widely eaten in many of the blue zones, people that live the longest on this earth. And if you're just tired of eating the black beans or the kidney beans that come in chili, listen, azuki beans are epically unreal. They're so good. I learned about them uh, when I started eating macrobiotically, if you will, years and years ago. Um, And I was kind of introduced to them via Elisa Silverstone's The Kind Diet book. Um, they are used in Asian cooking and they make, they're like the beans that make the sweet red paste that are in like dumplings and mochi. Um, so you need to try them. You need to try fava beans. You need to try Christmas lima beans. Okay. Christmas lima beans are gorgeous. You can get them on Amazon dried and we just pop them in an instant pot and they're like dark red and white striated. You can only imagine the amazing phytochemicals that are in them and just boosting your immune system. So gosh, honestly, thousands of different beans on this earth and the possibilities are endless. So make sure that you're getting them because they are so cheap, a ridiculously awesome, great source of fiber and protein. And they're just so good for you. All right. Now in the S group, Dr. B had a hard time, you know, he just wanted so many S's, but we're going to talk first about sulforaphane. So furophane is a cancer crushing compound that is really high in broccoli sprouts. It's also high in broccoli and cruciferous vegetables, but not as high as if you are eating it in the sprout form. So just like I was talking about onion sprouts earlier and how good they are and how probably unreal they are for your health, broccoli sprouts are clinically proven. They're studied. They're shown to be so good for us. Of course, they're good for our gut because it's adding different plant diversity. But um, really, these cancer crushing compounds are where it's at. So so furafane is what we want in our diet. If you can't make your own broccoli sprouts, make sure you are getting cruciferous veggies in your diet. And then also, you know, in the S group, he wanted to add shrooms and seaweed. So seaweed or sea veggies, um, you know, I try to eat a lot of sea veg. Uh, when I was pregnant, my body was naturally uh, craving these iron rich foods and they're so good for us. And you can get them in nori um, and it's a really great source of iron. And then we've got kelp kombu, wakame, spirulina, blue spirulina is our favorite. It's the Hawaiian spirulina. Um, and then he also adds shrooms. Now shrooms, you guys, if you know me, you know how much I love shrooms. Currently, my favorite shrooms are chestnut um, shrooms. They're gorgeous. If you have a local farmer's market, you need to go check out to see if they have chestnut mushrooms near you. But um, lion's mane mushrooms are so good. You know, just the standard baby bellas are ridiculously good. They're high in vitamin D and um, so many other beneficial compounds that we really want to be eating. And just a little tip here. If you are eating mushrooms, make sure that you are cooking them and that you're not eating them raw. I used to eat them raw all the time, but Dr. Furman says, do not do that. And so does Dr. B. So make sure that you're cooking your mushrooms. All right, you guys, that is it. 
Happy Friday. That is the holistic hack today. If you have not bought the book Fiber Fuel by Dr. Will Bolsowitz, you are, you, you need to like right now, find it at your local bookstore if you can or hop on Amazon if it's not currently sold out and get this book. It has a meal plan in it, ridiculously amazing recipes, and it helps um, your gut get used to eating plants. When you transition to plants, it's got to be low and slow. A lot of people are uh, going from a big filet to a big can of beans. That is not going to make your gut happy. Dr. B goes over all of that and how to transition to a plant-based diet in a happy for your gut form. And I know that you will love this book. You will learn more about the F goals when you get it. And I hope that you follow him on Instagram. I will leave all of his links below in the show notes. Have a great Friday. We will see you next time. Be well. I'm over here cheering you on because you just finished another episode of the urban pharmacy. For today's show notes, head on over to theurbanpharmacy.com and be sure to join us inside our private Facebook group called The Urban Pharmacy, where we share inspiration, live trainings, and holistic living tips to help you build community and the healthy lifestyle that you've always wanted. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button and please consider leaving us a five-star review. Before we connect again on the next show, follow me on Instagram at the urban pharmacy. That's urban with an H and pharmacy with an F. And I can't wait to hear your wellness journey as we get to know each other better. You know, there's truly no better time than now to level up your life. And I am so proud of you for showing up today. Until next time, be well, Health Crusader.